What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your WordPress website to your Google Drive using Updraft. Now let me just go ahead and minimize my camera here. Um, let me move this here to the side. So head over to your dashboard and then head over to plugins and we're going to want to install a plugin called updraft and it's going to be this one right here um, updraft plus plus uh, WordPress backup plugin so go ahead and install that and then activate it and then head over to um, this updraft settings so within the settings click on updraft backups and then head over to your settings here and as you can tell I did set mine up earlier a little bit but I'm going to just show you how to do it from scratch pretty much how it's going to be it's going to be set up just like just like this you probably won't even have that selected and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on um, Google Drive and then you're going to just going to want to um, authenticate uh, your uh, Google Drive account to your updraft so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on a link here right now it says that it's um, added to this account but I'm going to go ahead and add it to a new one so just go ahead and click the link down below and then you're just going to want to leave and then just go ahead and click on complete setup and then head, head over back to settings and then make sure that it's selected on Google Drive and make sure that your account is also connected as well um, and then you're gonna at least for me I always have it set up to about um, I have it set up to weekly but you can also have it daily you can have daily backups but uh, just for this tutorial I'm gonna set it to weekly and I'm gonna have it retain at least two um, two backup files uh, for my uh, my WordPress files and my database files and that's basically gonna have two sets so just think of it this way you're gonna have like two sets of your um, your saved website so um, you're gonna have if I have if I get a backup today um, I'll have that backup and then next week it'll back it up again and then I'll have the backup from today from this week and then I'll have the backup from next week and then and then um, the f then the third week third time it backs it up it's gonna remove um, the it's gonna remove the oldest backup um, so that's gonna be it's gonna remove the backup from this week um, so that's basically how you're going to have it set up. It's just going to always retain two backups. Um, and they're all going to be different, different dates. So, but you can retain more. Let's say you want to set it up. You want to retain backups for up to a month, you know, of backups of each week. Then you can go ahead and set it to four. Um, but I always set mine to two. It's just a preference that you want to have. Um, but if you are doing daily, then, uh, then you're definitely going to want to probably set it up to maybe 10. You know, if, if you're and I, I only suggest doing this if you're consistently updating your website. But if you're not updating your website like every day, you nest, you don't necessarily need to update it every you don't necessarily need to back it up every single day. Um, so if you're only if you back if you uh, if you only make like edits two times a month and to be honest, I would just do weekly, you know, or even monthly. You could do that if you wanted to. But I always set it to weekly and at least have it retain two um, two uh, two backups. Um, so just make sure that your Google Drive is um, is selected and make sure that it's on your account. Um, and then if you do want to check this box to get a notification on your email and when when your site is backed up and this will pretty much choose the email that's on your WordPress website. Um, so you can go ahead and check that and then just click uh, save changes. And then you can also have it set where let's say you don't want it to back up your your plugins or you don't want it to back up your themes um, but for a WordPress website you want you always want it to back up pretty much everything so I always just set it up as is and then now I'm gonna go ahead and click backup and once I do that here I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I selected that I want all these files included and the database and everything database is always very important um, and I'm gonna go ahead and back this up now I will be right back um, once this is done backing up and we'll head over to the Google Drive to see the files in there. 
Okay, so uh, once that is backed up here, you will see that you have um, your database files, your plugin files, your theme files, your uploads, and your um, other files. And you will see a little icon here letting us know that it was um, that it was backed up to Google Drive. So now if we head over to our Google Drive, and uh, you can just go ahead and go into your Google Drive account and just click on Drive, you will see that we have this updraft folder. And now you don't want to change the name of this updraft folder. That's something you definitely don't want to do because uh, you want to you want to still have it set up so then updraft knows where it's supposed to send your files right um and uh, that's where you will you will find um, your uh, your backup files so and this usually uh, comes with it comes with uh, your database files um, your plugin files your theme files um, your uh, your other files and then um, your uploads so um, I I will be coming out with a video on how to um, how to manually back that up within cPanel and within your your uh, your uh, f your file manager and also your my uh, your MySQL for uh, for your database. But uh, the easier way to do it, let's say you go on to I'm um, just kind of giving you a little scenario here. Let's say uh, you switch to a different um, different hosting, right? And you switch over your domain. So now you gotta switch over your WordPress files, right? So instead of doing it manually, which I will have a video on that um, as well, um, the, basically you could do it this way, um, which is basically just um, go on, just go ahead and install a new um, WordPress. Uh, yeah, go ahead and install a new WordPress install on your uh, on your website, and. Um, where you have where you did move your uh, domain to and then just go ahead and actually install um, updraft on there and then head over to your settings and then you're just going to want to log in um, you're just going to want to authenticate your uh, Google Drive account to your updraft and then once you've done that it's going to it should automatically um, if you click on you should click on where is it uh, it's going to be right here rescan remote storage so once you've connected your account to um to your uh, to your Google Drive on here on on your new website, uh, you should you should see the backup here, right? Um, so what you're gonna do from there is just click restore, and then you're gonna want to select all these files and just click next next um, next to all of them, and then just go ahead and uh, restore that. And that's how you would be able to just transfer your website, you know, without using a plugin. I know some plugins don't work that well, and you know, then your website can crash and you have all these other issues, right? Which does happen to me a lot sometimes, which actually, sorry, used to happen to me a lot because I don't do it that way anymore. Um, but I've really figured out how to uh, transfer websites, how to really back up websites very well. I actually use um, Amazon um, S3 uh, Cloud. And uh, it's it's really useful because you're able to not just back up one website. With the Google Drive, you can only back up one website. Um, and you can't even you can you can uh, I think you can name it as well, but um, no, I don't even think you can. You can only do that with the premium. So uh, with the uh, Amazon S3, you can actually you can actually uh, have multiple websites backed up on there, and you can name them all and in everything. Um, it is I guess you do have to pay, but you pay very little. You'll pay like maybe like two cents a month for um, for maybe f for about three websites or four websites that you're uh, that you're backing up um, and the cost isn't really that much but I can't really say it's free so that's why I just showed you guys how to do the the Google Drive but I would highly suggest using Amazon S3 if you guys do want me to make a video on that make sure to just let me know down in the comments and I will because it is really helpful um, but let's say like I said let's say for some reason you're you can't back it up this way right and um, it just it just doesn't work right but you do have your you do have your files well um you can also back it up manually as well um which is just which is pretty much just installing wordpress on there um going into um your file manager replacing your wp content with your uh, theme plugins and other files and your uploads replace that and then also go into mysql and then um and then update um your database and then you also have to update um, your uh, config file as well to connect to make sure that it's on the right database. Um, I will have a video on that. I know that that may sound a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's really easy to do once you once I show you. 
So I'll have a video on that very soon. And um, if the video did help you guys out, make sure to subscribe and like um, this video. And as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.